The Suicide Squad is one of DC's most unusually spectacular teams. It's comprised of a group of supervillains doing heroic deeds. We're looking back at their coolest missions with the top 10 Suicide Squad moments. Kicking things off at number 10, the squad infiltrates the headquarters of a supervillain team named Jihad and splits up to take out the individual members. Normally the squad's strength is in numbers, but this action-packed battle lets each villain's prowess shine as they expertly pick off the Jihad one by one. Next, Barbara Gordon hatches a plan to kill the Thinker, but he sees right through it and overpowers her. Amanda Waller shows up to give the Thinker a beating to remember, and stops Barbara from firing a shot she can't take back. Waller then pitches Babs on joining the squad, marking the beginning of a beautiful relationship between Oracle and Task Force X. After Deadshot shoots himself to kill Regulus, it's up to the rest of the squad to escape Mexico with a wounded Floyd Lawton in tow. When the going gets tough, Harley outsmarts the electrifying Grey Laura and single-handedly mows down the rest of Regulus's army to clear a path to safety for her beloved squad. In the Janus Directive, Task Force X joins a host of heroes from Checkmate and Project Atom to stop Cobra's plan to unleash chaos in the eastern U.S. American leaders almost abort the mission, but the heroes come together just in time to destroy the spacecraft, saving their own lives and those of millions of Americans. Next, the squad squares off against Yo-Yo's sister, Red Orchid, who traps them all in her treacherous tendrils. Yo-Yo draws his sister close with one last appeal to her humanity and quickly wraps his neck around hers. He calls to Deadshot for a bullet expertly aimed at the bomb in his neck and takes his sister down in flames. Number five sees the squad deployed to quell a riot in Bel Rev with only 12 minutes to get the job done. El Diablo tries to reason with his fellow prisoners, but the mutiny gets out of hand. So he unleashes a wall of fire that incinerates a mob of inmates proving he is just as formidable as the rest of the Suicide Squad. In our number four, Boomerang whispers to Slipknot that the bombs on their wrists that are meant to keep them in line are probably fake. When Slipknot spots an opening, he makes a run for it. But once he's far enough away, the bomb detonates and blows Slipknot's arm clean off. Lesson learned, never trust Captain Boomerang. Next up, Batman uncovers the existence of Task Force X and threatens to expose Amanda Waller's dirty little secret. But Waller surprises Bruce by vowing to dig up Batman's true identity. She promises to reveal Batman's secret if he whispers a peep about the squad, and sends the Dark Knight sulking away with his tail between his legs. Well played, Amanda Waller. Well played. When a U.S. Senator tries to blackmail Amanda Waller, Rick Flagg takes matters into his own hands and sets off to assassinate the Senator himself. Waller sends the squad to stop Flagg, and Deadshot steps in to take the fall for his teammate, killing the Senator so Flagg doesn't have to. Even supervillains watch out for their friends. And finally, in our number one Suicide Squad moment, Task Force X finds itself in a jam when a few members go rogue mid-mission. But the rest of the squad bands together to complete the objective, quash the renegade team members, and save Amanda Waller's life to boot. If you double-cross the Suicide Squad, the penalty is death. 